Good morning, good morning, good morning. Well, yeah. Mother Nature hit us again. Uh, we had a big storm come through here at 2 o'clock in the morning. We was out here working until about dark last night, me and Mike. And uh, we got a little bit later of a start than uh, we wanted to. So we worked a little bit later to be able to get some stuff done. I'll show you. The bathroom is taking shape, guys. It is taking shape. The closet is almost done. We're working on this back wall right here today and the ceiling. So hopefully we get all the drywall up today and I can get the first coat in there tonight after my live because I am going live tonight on Come On Homesteading. So definitely join me there. We'll be talking about all of this. And uh, yeah, get the first coat on and maybe even get this sanded and get the second coat on and start doing the finishing touches here on the tiny house. Mike is out here cutting our first piece this morning. What's up? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. I just seen the supervisor up here on the table with you. Yeah, well, Ryder and I were having a talk. Yeah. We were, uh, that last piece we were trying to get in last night, I don't know what I did to it. I mean, all of my cuts yesterday were right on time. I'm talking about fit so perfectly. Yeah. And that last piece was so whopping. Yeah. And uh, so Ryder was out here this morning like, listen, let's not start the way you finished last night. R Ryder was like, how much money you think I got in this drywall? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And as you can see, Ryder's over here just hanging out now. Yeah. Just hanging out, huh? Enjoying a little bit of shade before the sun gets too crazy. Uh, it's a beautiful morning so far. It's already starting to get hot and very humid, though. It's going to be another scorcher today. That storm that came through at about 1.30, 2 o'clock last night, it cooled it off all the way until about 10.30. Once yeah. 10.30, 11 o'clock, it started picking up. And let me tell you guys, it was a wicked, wicked storm. Me and Mike worked last night, like I was saying earlier, until about dark. Yep. And we was actually sitting on the chairs right over there. You can't see them because of the, the drywall. And uh, I checked the weather yesterday morning. And uh, we said, well, let, let's check it one more time Man, I'm so glad before we, checked it. Before we uh, call it a day. And uh, Mike looked it up and seen that at about 2 o'clock, a storm was 40% chance going to come in for like an hour and then go away. And for once, the weather people were spot on. Right on the mic. Because at 2 o'clock, I was having trouble sleeping. And, uh, man, lightning and thunder started popping. It was raining like crazy. And uh, and my generator was out of gas in the middle of it. So I just laid there in the dark and listened to it. <laughs> and when the rain stopped, I put a little bit more uh, gas in the generator just for about an hour or so. So I could put on some uh, background noise to make myself go to sleep. And got it done. And woke up this morning and it's a beautiful morning. I'll show y'all Mike doing a little bit of cutting. Another one down. Now the long cut. Now the long cut. We can cut it in the air. In place if you want. Oh, uh, it's all, I, I actually cut it a little long anyway. Yeah. So you're going to have to trim it up anyway. The, the angle at the top versus the angle at the bottom. I'm tired of trying to get it right and get it right. So we're just going to go ahead and leave it long and then you can trim it in place. True, true.
Alyssa, you are on Come On Keeping It Real. Hey, everyone. Say hello to everybody. Hello. Alyssa gets the behind the scenes, guys. She sees it all. I see it all. How's it looking? It looks great. It looks fabulous. Does it look bigger than it used to with yes, the drywall? I think it does. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. It's cool to see it all, you know, coming. Coming together? Yeah. yeah. Yep. It's just step after step after step. And next thing you know, bam! You got a completed project. Speaking of uh, being behind the scenes and seeing it all, uh, Lissa actually just come back up here to bring me my little SIM card. Because last night I was doing footage back and forth. And guess what, guys? You wouldn't even believe it. I forgot my SIM card at the house. Yeah. And this ain't the first time that uh, even before the, uh, the YouTube world, I would actually be at work in my HVAC job and be so flustered I can't find something and be like, holy crap. I did a side job last night and I left my meter at the house. I called Lissa, baby, please come to Gainesville and bring me my tools that I left in the car. <laughs> well, it's still pretty early today, guys, and she's already been here twice. So, there, uh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. While she was up here, he had a brain epiphany and was like, oh, I forgot my SIM card. Can you come back? Save the day. I actually got up this morning and made this guy breakfast and... Come to find out, he made the kids breakfast, so he didn't even want my breakfast. Yeah. Guys. It was a good breakfast. I turned it into a brunch, though, yeah. after I came up here. It wasn't it wasn't hash, but it was a good breakfast. It was good. <laughs> it was a good breakfast. Uh, we are making progress, guys, though we are making progress. Just chipping away at it and uh, trying to keep a positive mindset and uh, just keep going. And try to follow through with it and see it through to the finish line this is the part of the project that I actually like because you start seeing the results and uh, we've been working for so long doing all the detail behind the scenes stuff like insulation stuff like that you don't really get to see it come together but then uh, once you start putting the drywall up it really starts feeling like the place that you want it to be yeah that works I see where you put it see, long yeah, you yeah. See, yeah. Yep, that right there worked good. That way when we go come up against this piece, it's a flat flush piece. You want to switch with me? I'll grab the screw gun yeah. and the screws. See, that's the reason I cut it long, guys. So that when we bring our piece down, it'll be a nice flat piece. But on the back side, we can just use the cool tool and then come on down the side. I haven't got my tool belt on yet, guys. A little bit of work and a little bit of work and keeping it real. Getting so close, man. We're so close. It is, it is getting close. You're right. Once you start putting up drywall, whew, it it's like wow you could feel it that's why it's a love hate thing with drywall i hate doing it but i love the end result because what i mean the next step's paint right you know what i mean paint's kind of the same way oh, hate paint. hate doing it but love the end result yeah, yeah I'm, i hate painting but the end result is worth it every time The finish line is coming. And maybe we'll even have some air conditioner in here tomorrow. Ooh. Yeah. We got to call the HVAC company yeah, and make sure they're... Yeah, we got to call the HVAC guy. Um, he's been moonlighting his drywall guy, so... Yeah. We got to get his drywall done. <laughs> God, man. The word from the uh, the general contractor is the drywall guy is not as good as the HVAC guy, so it's taking longer. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Drywall guys came a long ways in this project. That's right. Because your cuts yesterday were so much more spot on than the day before. Right. So, I can't complain. And for the price... Whew. It's a great deal. Man. I mean, that drywall guy. He, he yeah. does work for breakfast sandwiches. Yeah, he eats breakfast sandwiches. <laughs> and stuff like that. So let's put one more up top here. And then we'll end this thing out. Oh, 
All right, guys, next time y'all see this room, it's going to be completely drywall, unless something catastrophic happens. Man, like a thunderstorm comes through when we're not expecting it in the middle of the day. Yeah. yeah. And uh, let's hope that that right there don't happen. But I don't know how long I've been rambling on this morning, but we need to get back to work. Love every single one of y'all. Make sure that you do something positive today for somebody. And also, guys, take another step closer to your goal. It's important. Love every single one of y'all. Until we see each other again, come on, keep it real.